Speaker. Mr Speaker. Ah, the Honourable Judith Collins. Oh, Mr Speaker, now, I'm not known to shy away from a bit of a fight, but the thought of the Greens being in government is actually enough to get me going. And in fact, I'm thinking, well, I think if that ever happens, we'll all have to leave the country. Um, Look, it's, um, you know, Mr Speaker, I'm a huge fan of Helen Clark, the Right Honourable Helen Clark. I think everyone knows I'm much more of a fan now that she's in New York and not here. But um, I am actually a fan of hers because I like the fact that she's got some courage and she says what she thinks. And, and then also she had, you know, had to deal with all sorts of issues in her own party. And she uh, brought them together with a, a moment of unity in the uh, years that she was in charge. But um, I think that she was incorrect in one area, well many actually, but one in particular, notable today, is I recall her describing New Zealand as living in or being in a, a benign strategic environment. Do you know what, Mr Speaker, you couldn't get more wrong now. You travel overseas, you start to see just how not very benign at all our strategic environment is. You stay in New Zealand, you get involved in areas like police or even corrections, uh, defence, the uh, security agencies, you get to realise pretty quickly it's not that benign anymore. The fact is, is that we have a very difficult presence in the world. Sometimes it's called IS, Daesh, all sorts of other things, but it is actually um, about violent extremism. And that is an area where I have um, a role as the lead minister in countering violent extremism. It's very fortunate having been Minister of Ethnic Affairs and actually meeting and knowing many people across the whole spectrum of religions and ethnicities in New Zealand. But of course, violent extremism is not limited to people of ethnicities other than the dominant ethnicities and population base in New Zealand. It can be across everywhere. Um, and this is actually a huge issue, which is why I was really pleased with the $20 billion uh, modernisation program for our Defence Forces, because it's incredibly important that our Defence Force is able to assist New Zealand's and, and promote New Zealand's interests, but also that it can, in fact, defend itself against uh, cyber intelligence and attack. So to New Zealand Police. New Zealand Police hold a tremendous amount of information. Uh, I don't think most of us here would want to see that compromised by any lack of um, uh, attention. We also have, of course, our Special Air Service. Um, this government funded and promoted the battle training facility in my electorate, Ardmore. That's the, uh, there's a tremendous facility. I was able to be there for its opening, but it is yet again another example of our commitment. We um, are currently ranked, um, I understand, 18th in the world for cyber attacks. And last year, when I had slightly more time in my hand than I, hands than I do now, I travelled to New York and met with um, a major, well, one of the world's leading insurance um, brokers to talk to them about what they saw as the growing trends in uh, threats to countries and to business. And the number one threat by far is in fact cyber attack, because they saw this as something that is very, very difficult to insure against. It's very difficult to do anything about other than, uh, and there's also so much ransomware, so, so many attacks that go on that never get any publicity. Because obviously it's a huge effort, a huge issue for banks, um, insurance companies, all sorts of businesses, particularly those trading and with intellectual property. This area should not ever be discounted, but it is actually often used, I understand, from these people as one of the ways in which terrorism is financed, that and oil and uh, other things like that. We need to look no further to what the UK has had to deal with, uh, even recently, Recently, I was in the UK. They told me they had 300 violent extremists in their prisons. We've got probably two. This is an issue that is coming our way, Mr Speaker. Uh, this review, this white paper in defence, is well on time. It is appropriate, and it is something which we will no doubt need to consider as time moves on. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Sewer Williams.